When asking who the most successful team in the Bundesliga's history is, it's impossible to look past Bayern München and their 28 titles. But it wasn't always so. One team went toe-to-toe with Bayern for almost a decade and won more titles in that period. Borussia Mönchengladbach, a small-town team from the traditional footballing powerhouse region of North Rhine-Westphalia. Only Gladbach have managed to compete with Bayern so consistently and so well. The 1980s and 1990s saw brief flurries from Hamburg, Werder Bremen and Kaiserslautern. Borussia Dortmund secured back-to-back titles between 1994 and 1996 and 2010 and 2012. But Gladbach are the only other Bundesliga side to win three titles in a row, doing it between 1974 and 1977 and sealing their third with a dramatic 2-2 away draw to Bayern. But more than that, Bayern versus Gladbach is a rivalry that seemed, at the time, to be about more than football. When both teams joined the Bundesliga in 1965 though, they were very alike. Both built their reputations with a core of young, homegrown players. Bayern had Sepp Meyer, Franz Beckenbauer and Gerd Müller, while Gladbach boasted the wonderful playmaker Günter Netzer, Bertie Fultz and a certain Jupp Heynckes, who would score 195 goals in 283 Bundesliga appearances for Gladbach and manage both clubs. Indeed, Bayern and Gladbach players would go on to secure huge success for West Germany. The 1972 European Championships were won with nine starting players from either Bayern or Gladbach. The 1974 World Cup final victory saw six starters from Bayern and two from Gladbach, Vogts and Rainer Bonhoff, while Heinkes was on the bench. While united in the colours of the national team, there's no doubt that the two sides were viewed very differently by fans in Germany and beyond. Gladbach was seen as cool, young, countercultural, while their southern rivals were efficient, inflexible in establishment. Croatian coach Branko Zebic, appointed to Bayern's dugout in 1968, emphasised fitness, pressing and taught Bayern how to kill off games through discipline. Gladbach, on the other hand, under Hennes Weisweiler, played a swashbuckling, counter-attacking style, with Netzer central to their image on and off the pitch. In truth, the teams were both brilliant defensively and scored a lot of goals. Indeed, between 1969 and 1977, when no one else won the title, Bayern outscored Gladbach by 3.65 goals per game to 3.4. Not so different after all then, and the teams have a shared history of players and coaches too. Udo Latek, who oversaw Bayern's first set of three consecutive titles, left the club in 1975 to take over at Gladbach, where he won two more Bundesliga titles and a UEFA Cup. He returned to Bayern in 1984 and won another three Bundesliga titles in a row before being replaced by one of Bayern's most successful ever coaches, Jupp Heynckes. Heynckes joined from Gladbach, where he had been a coach for eight years without winning a title. In Bavaria, he won two in a row in his second and third seasons and went on to win a famous treble with Bayern in 2012-13. In what he thought was his last Bundesliga game before retirement, Heinkes bade an emotional farewell as Bayern beat Gladbach 4-3. Other key Bayern figures have begun their careers at Gladbach. Midfielders Lothar Matthäus and Stefan Effenberg and defenders Patrick Anderson and Dante all tasted success with Bayern after playing for Gladbach first. Some players have gone the other way too. Marcel Vitacek, who won two titles at Bayern, went on to play over 150 Bundesliga games for Gladbach from 1997 to 2003, while right-back Thomas Kastenmeier, who later coached Gladbach's reserves, also left Bavaria for the northern side in the 90s. Indeed, Kastenmeier played for Gladbach as they recorded their first ever away win against Bayern in the Bundesliga in October 1995, a 2-1 victory. Gladbach's first goal was scored by Stefan Effenberg, who was in his second spell at the club. He would later return to Bayern a second time. And in recent years, Gladbach have been a persistent thorn in Bayern's side. While the first ever game at the new Allianz Arena saw a 3-0 win against Gladbach in 2005, Bayern have rarely had an easy time against their old rivals. In 2001, Gladbach returned to the Bundesliga following relegation and promptly beat Bayern, who had just won the league and Champions League double, 1-0 on match day one. Gladbach did the home and away double over Bayern in 2011-12 and ended their unbeaten league start in the 2015-16 season, recording their largest ever win over Bayern in a 3-1 victory. In 2016-17, they also ended Jupp Heynckes' unbeaten start as Bayern coach in his fourth stint at the club, with goals from Torgen Hazard and Matthias Ginter. While the last meeting between the clubs was a 5-1 win for Bayern, they know there are no easy games against Gladbach. However rooted in the past, some rivalries just never go away. Hi guys! Did you like that? Subscribe here! <laughs> 
Don't miss any of the Bundesliga action. Subscribe now.